Welcome to Pod Applaud, the Monday and Friday podcast that aims to enable your podcast habit. I'm your host, Seb, and today we are going to Paris with the podcast, The Orbiting Human Circus of the Air. The Orbiting Human Circus of the Air is a fictional radio drama podcast written and created by Julian Coster and published by Night Vale Presents, the folks well known for shows like Welcome to Night Vale and Alice Isn't Dead. The show has eight full length episodes that are all about 30 minutes in length. I found this podcast while noodling around my podcast app. I might ruin my podcast credibility by admitting this, but I was never a huge fan of Welcome to Night Vale or Alice Isn't Dead. I tried them, but they didn't seem to click for me the way they have been clicking for other people. So I was a bit skeptical to jump into a show produced by Night Vale Presents. The writer, Julian Coster, is a name you might recognize from his contributions towards a handful of musical groups. I won't get too much into that, but I do want to say the music in this podcast is amazing. Not only is the music amazing, the script is fantastic too. Our main character, who is also named Julian, is a janitor who works in the Eiffel Tower. In this fictional imagining of our world, the thought that there is a giant ballroom atop the tower is just the beginning of the whimsy and wonder. Within that ballroom is recorded the world's most beloved and surreal radio show, The Orbiting Human Circus of the Air. The show is Julian's obsession. He craves to be on the show alongside the singing saws, tap dancing critters, magical happenings, and all other manner of surreal vaudeville acts. Meanwhile, it is well known by the cast and crew of the show that Julian is to be kept away at all cost. The world gets even more detached from reality as we find the narrator who brings us into the world is an actual entity inside Julian's head. The interplay between Julian and the narrator feels very Dr. Seuss to me. Over the course of the show, I became very attached to Julian's character and also enjoyed the rest of the cast greatly. There are a lot of laughs in the show, but there are also strong emotional beats as well. I was really brought into the drama, and I can't say enough how well written the overall story is. There are also some side stories that get told within the main show in an interesting way. These kept me entertained even though I was really craving the chance to get back to the main plot. I feel like the Orbiting Human Circus of the Air was a podcast experience I have never really had before. The audio was so phenomenal and I really felt like there were layers upon layers in the show. I can see this possibly being the first audio drama I download again and re-listen to, which is great because there's a deluxe edition out as well. And I look forward to that because I know when and if I re-listen, I will get an even deeper insight into Julian and the show itself. Here on Podaplod, I rate shows on a 1-5 to scale. 1 is silence. Two is a slow clap, three is applause, four is a round of applause, and five, of course, is a standing ovation. I would give the orbiting human circus of the air a five out of five, a standing ovation. The show did something for me that always clues me into the fact that I've found something special. Whenever a show inspires me to go back and rediscover something I held close or dive deeper into something new, that is a quality to really get excited about. In this case, it was kind of both. Some of the music within the show very strongly reminded me of the work of Daniel Johnston. I have great memories of discovering this music with an old friend of mine, and it holds a special place within my heart. 
So hearing such similar style in this show transported me way back to a whole other time in my life. In addition, I've also been inspired to look more into Julian's work, so it's a double whammy. Speaking of double whammy, apparently Season 2 is in the works for the Orbiting Human Circus, which does make me a tad nervous since I believe Season 1 ended perfectly, but time will tell. I'd recommend this show to anyone. Although it is fun and exciting, there are some touches of dark stuff that parents should probably double-check before letting their young ones listen. That's been the show for today. If you found it valuable, be sure to subscribe for more podcast reviews. If you wish to reach out or follow me, you can find me on Twitter at PodApplaud or visit podapplaud.com where you can find further contact information and transcripts for each and every episode. Thank you for listening and please tune in again.